This recording is for April 26, 2012. Um, you know, today was a decent day. If I, uh, I if I'd caught this trade, I, I wasn't really uh, paying attention right when it happened. Uh, I was a little distracted. To me, it looked like we're in a trading range. I even considered shorting, thinking this might be an up thrust. But when I did further analysis, I kind of came to the conclusion that there wasn't enough structural reasons for a short, um, and uh, which was a good thing because you know probably uh, would have gotten stopped out or maybe I would have gotten out once I saw the reaction wasn't very uh, wasn't very strong. But uh, in the morning, I think the first trade I would have taken was probably this short, uh, but it was before I was awake, because around 5.20 my time a.m., so probably about an hour and 10 minutes before the market opened. Um, reason being, we had rejected uh, the previous day's highs, and I was looking for an up thrust. So in that particular moment, we we had rejected the highs, and uh, we came up and tested it. So. And when I first sat down in the morning, I was kind of thinking, well, we're making lower lows, lower highs, lower low. I was thinking of maybe taking a short. But uh, once we, we violated this trend channel, I never got a signal uh, on, you know, trading any of my indicators or even a key reversal bar. I never really got anything to get me short. Uh, Weiss wave didn't even turn down. So I never really got a signal. And once we broke out about here, I saw the change in wave structure and I thought, okay, uh, if we do have a short, it's probably going to be a more complex type uh, correction, and I uh, might have to wait for some other things before I go short. So, didn't go short. Once we moved up here, uh, and we started going around in this area, I thought we'd probably go into trading range, and I was going to look for a spring down here or an up thrust up here. Decided against the up thrust, never got it. Uh, if you draw a trend channel, our demand line, it's pretty obvious this was confluence here. We had yesterday's highs, the session highs, and we also had uh, the demand line, as well as we had a pretty big volume down on the Weiss wave with no real result. We just couldn't get below the lows. Um, and, uh, you know, by the time I recognized it, price had already moved about two points. We're right about here. So, uh, you know, obviously I, I didn't want to chase it, but uh, they had other things going for it. You know, the uh, the trend was up on my uh, oscillator, the trend was also up on the EMA, and, uh, you know, we had some structure in the background. We broke this, this downtrend line, and we never really violated this trend channel. So, trend was still up, and so that would have been a pretty good place to go long. If uh, we had more time in the market, I actually probably would consider this long right here. Uh, the, the market's closed now, so I, I'm not going to take it. But, you know, a like an ABC correction, um, you know, ease of movement in the background. Anyways, we did what I what I was looking for. Uh, I never got a second attempt to go long. So that's about it for today. Um, some good opportunity if you're paying attention. Now for tomorrow, you know, looking at this, you know, obviously we're in an uptrend. So... No real reasons to go short. If we do go short, it'll just be a counter trend trade, so not to expect too much. You know, uh, the way we're moving here, I wouldn't be surprised if we came to the top of the trend channel. Uh, though we do have quite a ways to go, um, it wouldn't be completely, it wouldn't be completely uh, unlikely. And looking at the daily chart, it seems to me like we're probably going to, you know, uh, test these highs one more time. So what to look for is probably a pullback to this level here. This is the major resistance area somewhere in here. We've, this is where we had this consolidation. We had a good, good, strong move up out of it. So I have a feeling we're probably going to trend up for the next week or two. That would be my guess. Uh, I mean, things could change pretty quickly. But um, you know, for now, I'll just be looking for longs tomorrow. It's Friday, and we've had two solid days of gains. So... I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow's is a consolidation day. So, uh, we have some news in the morning, but once that comes out, you know, I think everyone might be heading out for the weekend. So uh, I'm going to be very uh, picky on what I do, but um, you never know. We could keep going up tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see.